hello. Sweet June 2010. Um, off work. I'm just, lately i just been out of sorts. Think I'm dealing with some um, mental pause issues. You know, my body's been tripping on me lately. Uh, the other day, I, I was watching Divorce Court, and this black woman was on there, this black couple uh, was on there, and um, the woman was talking about how she, you know, married her husband, you know, because she thought he had money, and all this stuff. She had four kids by three different daddies, and um, then she realized she, you know, he wasn't, you know, working or whatever like he should have been, and you know, and she was just boasting about how she didn't marry him for love, and how she, you know, married him, to, you know, so she can for security, you know, get money or whatever. And Judge Toiler was just beside herself. She was like, you know. Um, you know, telling him, you know, you a good brother, you know, and, you know, because she asked her, she said, you know, because she was, you know, boasting about how she was having babies and, you know, getting child support and everything, and she said, I thought I was going to get some money out of this one, but, you know, and then Judge Toller asked her, you know, so you having babies for profit? And she was like, well, no, but, you know, and, you know, I thought that, you know, um, I was going to get some money, you know, and everything, and, so Judge Toller, she just, she just was disgust, totally dis, disgusted with the young lady, you know, just saying like, wow, really, you know, and I was just thinking, I said, man, I said, it's because of black women like her. I mean, she was basically a gold digger. And I was thinking, you know, I said, it's because of black women like her that makes the rest of us black women look bad. I said, it's because of black women like her that some of, the, of these brothers be coming on YouTube talking about us, calling us gold diggers and attitudes and all this kind of stuff because she had an attitude and, you know, she was like, well, you know, I don't want him now, whatever, because he's not providing or get playing, you know, whatever that he's supposed to be doing. And I'm like, you know, looking at her like, you know, she making the rest of us say it's on account of her. It's because good black women like me and other good black women out there get dogged out because uh, basically, you know, they're thinking that we're all like that. You know, I said it's because of black women like her. And it just, I was just totally disgusted. You know, I was really pissed off because I was like, it's because of black women like her. She giving the rest of us a bad name give us a bad rep, and it's just not right, you know, and unfortunately, it is because of, you know, black women like her, you know, that it's not right that we get labeled as gold diggers, and, you know, having babies, you know, to get child support, and all that kind of stuff, and it's, it's, it's sad, it really is, it's really sad that we have to be labeled and get into that situation and i just i don't know i was just thinking that it, it's because of black women like her you know because of her mentality the type of mentality that she had she had the type of mentality that you know well you know i'm gonna get a man that got some money and you know he's gonna take care of me and um, you know, that's what I'm basically looking for, you know, and he wasn't fitting the bill. He wasn't providing like he should have. So, you know, now she was ready to get rid of him. And, you know, and, 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 and it was because it's because of her black women like that is the reason why the rest of us get a really bad rap and it's unfortunate and it's sad, you know, and. I was just, you know, I said, see, I said, it just, I, it just dawned on me, you know, I said, it's because of her, it's because of black women like her. The reason why a lot of these brothers be coming on YouTube and message boards and stuff all on the web saying, you know, black women are this, black women are that, you know. It's sad, it really is, you know. That the rest of us, you know, a lot of us good black women have to suffer because of some black women like that. 
you know. But I'm here to say that she don't represent me. She's not representative of who I am. She's not representative of, the, representative of a lot of black women. You know, she's not. You know, she's in the, in the minority. You know, and it just you know brothers would look at that and say, "See, mm -hmm, I told you them black women was like that." And it just she just made us look bad. Just made us all look really bad. You know, unfortunately, we get judged as a whole. You know. We don't, we don't get judged, we don't seem to get judged as individuals in the content of our character as an individual. We, we, we usually tend to seem like to me we get judged as a whole, as a group. And, and, and that's very unfortunate. And then brothers look at, but see, what I don't understand is, you know, why, why do brothers get with them type of black women? That's what I don't understand. Why do they get with those types? See, and I said, see, now he'll probably, I said, now he'll probably, now after this, he'll probably say that all black women are like that. Nine times out of ten. And this is typically what happens. A brother gets with a black woman like her, you know, and then it don't work out and everything. And then they say, mm-hmm, they don't like none of them black women ain't no good because of her, you know. No, it was the one, and see, but that's the, the thing that gets me is that they, the black man picks those types. They picks those type of women to get with. And then when they, the things don't work out, and then they, they, uh, they blame the rest of us. They, they dog the rest of us out and they say we're all like that. When at, in the, at the end of the day, it was who they chose. It was the choices that they made. And it's not right. You know, the rest of us black women should not have to be put, ostracized, put down, and criticized because you made a bad choice. And that's basically, so I don't understand. See, why do black men get with those type of women? Why do you, why do you, why do, and a lot of black men will pick a black woman like that, you know? And then they'll say, oh, well, they're all like that. No, I mean, it's, it's just crazy. And I don't, I mean, you know? They seem to be, a lot of them seem to be more attracted to those type of women. But then they get a woman, you know, nice woman, sister, you know, treat them right and everything, you know. They want to dog her out, you know. You know, take her for granted, cheat on her or whatever. And I, I mean, I'm just telling you, letting you guys know that that's basically the way it is. That's basically the way, they, way it is. Brothers pick, they... They are quick, they're quicker to pick them type of sisters than it, the nice sister, you know. And they get the nice sister, they, that's the one they take for granted, you know. You know, nice, nice girls finish last, you know. So I, I, I'm just really kind of appalled by that, you know. And it just dawned on me, I was watching that, and it dawned on me that it's because of sisters like her, Sisters like me and a lot of other good sisters have a difficult time. You know, we all got to get judged and called gold diggers and all that type of stuff. And it's crazy. You know, it's just really crazy. So, you know, just sick of it. Sick of the judgment. You know, but it, I shouldn't have to suffer because and get criticized and ostracized because this sister over here is acting stupid. This sister over here is a gold digger and all that stuff, so I got to get judged. I got to get dogged out, you know, that type of situation. So, you know, I'm just, you know, just saying it's not cool. It's not cool, you know. And I just real, I just hope that brothers learn to have a more of an open mind, you know, when it comes to, black women, you know, and I don't know, maybe they want to feel that way about us, you know, maybe they want to believe the worst, I don't know, but it's just not right, okay, I just want to, and I just, it just dawned on me, I was just watching that the other day, and I, it just dawned on me that she's just making it hard for the rest of us out here, it just, I was just appalled, so have a blessed day. God bless you all. Sweet June 2010.